Now, a Danish radio presenter has angered animal rights campaigners by killing a baby rabbit live on air. The presenter, Asger Yule of the 24-7 station, said that he wanted to highlight the hypocrisy of animal welfare lobbyists who eat meat from supermarket shelves. But a social media campaign has now been launched to boycott the station. The broadcast, which began as a discussion, ended up with an animal rights activist chasing the presenter around the studio in a vain attempt to save the rabbit. It. The presenter is unrepentant and he later skinned the carcass at home and cooked a rabbit ragu. Well, let's talk to the radio 24-7 boss, Jorgen Ramskov. He joins us via Skype. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Um, was it necessary to use such a violent method to highlight where food comes from? I would like to stress that I don't think the uh, method was violent. The way the rabbit was killed was done in a way that is used to kill rabbits. Uh, what is funny, or funny is perhaps not the right word, but what is interesting is that people are very angered by killing a rabbit in an absolutely normal way, but they're not angered uh, over the way we treat uh, livestock uh, on, over the conditions that livestock are, are, are brought up, at least in Denmark. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, how things are brought, but I can tell you that in Denmark, the, the conditions in the industrialized agricultural sector is is quite appalling for for, for animals, and uh, that was uh, that's a discussion that's been going on for many years. We needed a, a kind of a provocative attitude to raise this discussion, and 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 we did that by killing a rabbit, not in a violent way, but in a way that rabbit should be killed. Now, I appreciate that you are saying that the rabbit was killed. I believe he was hit a, a, a number of times in the manner that I know that your presenter took advice. But when you see animals, livestock killed, they're killed in slaughterhouses, there is a process. Whereas here you have a presenter in a radio, radio studio being chased around the studio by an animal rights campaigner. The atmosphere is certainly not uh, conducive of a calm methods of, of killing this animal. But, but that's not accurate. The, the, right, the animal activist was in the studio arguing that we should not kill the rabbit. She even offered oh. the host a, a dinner in, 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 in trading uh, the dinner for, the, for not killing the rabbit. She did not actually chase him around. The rabbit was killed in a perfectly normal way. It was not, it's absolutely, it's not normal to kill a rabbit in a radio studio. It's a normal way to kill a rabbit at a farm or at a house, but it, it's not a violent way, but people react because we killed a rabbit. They don't react to how livestock is brought up. They don't react to how pigs are, are, are brought to the slaughterhouse and killed. They don't react to that. Your presenter has had various threats uh, because of what he's done. Would you be repeating something like this again? No, we, we, we don't want to repeat it. We, we, we did this as a provocative attitude for, for this discussion because it's obviously needed to, to, to try to awaken people uh, about this. And, and of course, we're not going to kill animals uh, in, in, on, on a regular basis or, or at, at, at any other time. We killed this rabbit to highlight how, uh, how hypocrisy, how much hypocrisy there is in the discussion of animal uh, welfare. Animal welfare in Denmark is uh, for some animals, not for all animals. Okay, Jorgen Ramskov from Radio 24-7. We appreciate you coming on to talk about this. Thank you.